Hey everybody, I'm Dave with Growing the Home Garden. Today I am collecting seeds from one of my squash plants. It's a yellow summer squash. And now you can definitely save seeds from squash. It's very easy to do, but there are a couple things you have to think about. First off, squash will cross-pollinate very easily with other things in the cucurbic family, particularly with zucchini. So if you had a squash and a zucchini planted near each other, the odds are it could have cross-pollinated. So if you have isolated your plants or maybe you've only grown like a summer squash, it's perfect for doing some seed collecting. So that's what we're gonna to do today. I've got two squash plants that I planted, but they are completely the same variety. And I should get something that's fairly consistent between the two of them that I can save the seeds for and then plant again next year. So let me show you what I'm looking at. All right, so right here you see these squash plants and they look like they are terrible right now. And the whole point of this is you kind of just let them go at the end of the season and then you end up with a giant baseball bat sized squash right here. You can see this thing. Now that's definitely not an edible squash. It has been growing way too long. You typically want them about six inches or so. Um, you can eat them smaller than that, but six inches is probably ideal. And this is well beyond that. This is probably about a 12 inch long squash. Uh, but we don't need this kind of a squash. So we are actually going to cut this off and then open it up and collect the seeds. So to do that, I'm just gonna take out my pocket knife, cut it off the end there. Most likely it would break off on its own pretty easy if I pulled it. So there you go, you can kind of see that side of squash. So next step, we are gonna to have to cut into it and let's see what kind of seeds we end up with. Okay guys, you can see here, I'm just gonna take a serrated kitchen knife and I'm gonna cut off the ends. Any leftover stuff will just end up getting composted here. Just cut off those ends real quick because that'll make it a little bit easier to cut. When they get this large, they tend to be a little bit more difficult to actually cut through. So, make sure you don't cut yourself on this. So, we're just going to split this in half. Or kind of in half. Didn't do the wonderful job there, but for our purposes, that's all we need. Now you look in there and you see these kind of seeds here. They're very nicely shaped, good color, probably pretty good seeds to use. Um, of course, when I cut into that, I did like cut through a few of these seeds here, but I don't need them all. Uh, but anyway, just come through, start picking out a bunch of seeds. If they look good and you haven't cut into them, they're probably just fine. See, like I would not expect a seed like that right there to germinate because I've cut that. But those should work pretty good. So what I'll do next is I'll take a paper towel, I'll collect the seeds, put them on that paper towel, and then I'll just let them dry. Once they're all dried, I can put them in a storage envelope and save them and plant them fresh next spring. So probably the easiest way to do this is just to kind of get in here and kind of ruffle up the seeds as you go. Kind of get them out of that pulp. It's kind of like a pumpkin, which incidentally is a type of squash. So it kind of makes sense that they look so similar. All right, so I'm just going to take those, pop them down here, just like that. Now this is a yellow summer squash. We will typically fry it up, but it's good grilled too. A lot of ways you can use squash. Tastes really good, nice and fresh too. So one squash may be all you need to supply yourself plenty of seeds for your next year garden. If you take a look at what I've got here on this paper towel, that's only half the squash. Now, of course, again, some of these are not gonna be viable because I've cut into them, but there's plenty here that will be. Good enough to give to friends, family, or start your garden next year. 
without having to use um, or order seeds of your own. So there you go. That's pretty easy to do. And I've got quite a few seeds in here. What I'll do is I'll spread them out so that they'll dry evenly. Then I'll get rid of any of the gunk and pulp that's in here from the squash. And then I'll have to pick through and make sure I've only got the seeds that I want in here because, you know, like I said before, some of the stuff got damaged when I was cutting it open. And that's just part of it. Uh, I suppose you could probably come around the sides and try to trim it out a little bit more carefully than I did and then call it out that way. But this works just fine. And you get plenty of seeds, even if you damage some seeds along the way. You are most likely not going to use all those seeds in your garden every year. Um, I typically will grow four to six plants in a season because um, we don't have a very huge garden. Ours is pretty small. But, you know, unless you're doing this as a farm crop, in which case you could let a bunch of these go and get quite a few uh, squash plants to harvest seed from at the end of the year. But anyway, I'm Dave with Growing the Home Garden. If you thought this was useful, uh, hit the like button and subscribe. Love to show you more gardening as uh, more videos come along. So, thanks for watching.